All right. So now that I've warned you what or the limits to the layers, I'm just going to initialize ZBrush, get out of that. And you can see, you can also see that the system was so slow because, yeah, I just basically ruined that beyond belief. So here is the correct procedure in order to do that. So before I would go in there and do all the layers and everything else, but I need to make sure my initial base mesh is good to begin with. So I can reconstruct and see how fast that is to reconstruct it down now. And you could put layers in there now. It's not going to hurt it at all. So I'll put a sculpt out there. This time I won't sculpt so long. I'll just sculpt for a second here. And I want the traditional move brush, so I'm going to go back to this one. It will not move unwanted vertices at lower levels like the other ones will. And you can see here, I always attack a lower res mesh and get my shape down. Also, I try to keep that uniformity, as I was talking about earlier. But you can use these to your advantage, these lines right here, as points of uh, heavy form change. So, in other words, if I wanted to develop a head, I would keep this in the area of the lips. If I wanted the eyes, I would keep this line in the area of the eyes. It's just easier to um, manipulate those and add pinches to those areas to really, really change up the mesh form. And you should always develop a skull first for an object. So I was just kind of messing around with the whole idea of what the shape of the head is. Okay, so that's all on layers and that's all on the highest level. So you have to go to the highest level to manipulate that down. And you got a negative change and a positive change. So now if you needed something halfway in between those, you could. We'll get into head modeling and skulls and all that good stuff in the uh, next few levels. We don't have to get that level of detail just yet. Okay, so that means anything else that I make on other layers is going to be fine as long as I don't do weird things like reconstruct subdivide, that's a bad thing. Um, bring in another mesh as I'm working with this, don't do that either. Okay, there we go. And you can add the standard brush at this point, which is so much easier to find without all the other brushes showing. There we go. And you could change that material up too. Like this material is really hard to move around with and look at and see see what's going on. I kind of use this one right here, this basic material, a lot of times, or the standard sculpt material. And of course, you can divide. Dividing is fine. But the only bad thing is you can't do it in, during record. So divide it up all you want. You could still use that layer. You can still record on that layer. And it's really hard to hit that with the Wacom drawing tablet, by the way. So 
I don't know what what that is. It's just difficult. There we go. All right. Now, you get the picture. Okay, those are the order of things. And what I like is you put some high-res detail in and you turn it down a little bit so it's not so in your face. And it really does look like a uniform texture at that point. Okay, so now that you've seen the correct procedure for things, uh, let's look at what other things layers can do, like um, hold other information.